Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by John, the owner of the Kite Brewery in Wales. Hello. How'd you do? Very well, thank you. Uh, just a couple of questions. And Steve, first of all, Steve, the head brewer of the Kite Brewery. Um, I've got their pale ale. Before I drink their beer, what was the inspiration to start up the brewery? Well, as a beer wholesaler, basically, uh, the club has really decided that from uh, our track record of selling beer ales, we decided to have our own brewery. Steve, Fantastic. Steve came on board and we then decided to throw beers to our free trade with our own beer company. Fantastic. So, is this your first beer? One of the first beers you decided to produce? No, we had sort of three uh, beers produced together, which were Gorse Lars, the uh, Welsh Pale, and also Thunderbird. Okay, okay. Um, looks very nice in the glass. I'm going to give this a very quick review, if you don't mind. Nice aroma, nice kind of grassy hop aroma, nice malty kind of sweetness in the Beer. It smells very pleasant. It's, it's the type of beer you want to smell and you're gonna you think I want to like the barbecue. I want to drink this all afternoon. You get that kind of it is a light refreshing beer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Okay. More part. Yeah, very refreshing. It's almost as if this beer wants you to like the barbecue. It, it's light, it's refreshing, it's an after work, almost local beer. You finish work, the grass is a bit long, you've mowed the lawn and you think, I need something to refresh myself. And this is kind of the perfect beer for that. Yeah. And this is your, this is the Welsh Pale Ale from the Kite Brewery. Okay, so if I can move on, yes, it is. if I can move on to your next beer, what would you say to, to try and drink next? Try the try the Thunderbird next. Okay. Thunderbird being uh, four and a half percent being the brewer's favourite. Is hey. this one of your recipes? Yes. It is. Fantastic. Amber, it's got American hops in. It has American hops. It has a, a combination of uh, Challenger, uh, Browning Cross, yeah. and Cascade being the late one. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so yeah. beer in the glass for the Thunderbird from Kite Brewery. Nice, lovely amber coloured beer. Nice conditions of the beer. If you rock that beer back and forth, you can see them. The, the carbonation kind of chasing the, the head of the glass. Let's get the aroma. And yeah, you get them American hops, don't you? Yeah. You certainly do. Yeah. Can I just try the mushroom? Nice and sweet. Very nice sweet beer. And then you're kind of waiting. And then that kind of hop attack comes through with them with the cascade on the back end. So it's a nice balanced beer. I like the balance of this beer. Another beer which it's almost as if you should be called the normal brewery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's it's like you would drink this beer all day long. It's all the grass with yeah. <laughs> and be refreshed by it. Yeah. Really nice. It is a lovely ale. We try to make the ale sloppy by the process that we make to brew the beer, yeah. rather than just overloading them with the actual physical hop. And that can be, I, I think that's a, a great point to make here. Um, sometimes breweries, I think they can be very lazy and just throw hops in the beer, American hops, and, and it didn't necessarily work, does it? No. I, I'm a firm believer of balance. And the two beers I've tried so far from your brewery have been very balanced beers. They've been very kind of drinkable. And, well, you want to try the next one. So let's try the next one. What's next? Okay, so if we go to the... Uh, That's my favourite. <laughs> so Jemima's Pitchfork being 
really on the scale of hoppiness, you've gone from really basically the, the gentlest beer that we do in the Welsh right. to a beer which is which originally when we made it was classed as hoppy, right. but now but on the modern scale of beers that have come along, it, it's, it's you know it's only a moderate. Hop. So now you're trying something now which is a bit higher up the hop scale. Really, you know? okay. there's more American hop in it, which tends to have a bit more bite in them. Okay. So, okay. This is a this is not really a seasonal because a seasonal obviously would would um, you know implicate you know for a year. This is more of a, a monthly really. We produce about so I think we're producing twelve really in the year as well as our hardcore. And this is the the beer for uh, the June, which is called Jemima's Beach. It looks great. It looks great in the glass. Look at that. When you rock a beer around in the glass, you show it up. Little tiny bubbles. And I was told by a brewer, an old brewer from um, Wells and Young's, he said, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. You hear that saying? I haven't heard that one. That's a good one. But, yeah, and, and, and if you rock that beer around in the glass, tiny, tiny little bubbles rise into the top. Doesn't that look fantastic? A golden coloured ale. Let's get the aroma. And yeah, you're right. It's, it's more of a hop presence in this beer. Yeah. What American hops have you used in this beer? The late hop, the two hops are citra, which yeah. obviously gives it a citrusy flavour. Yeah. And also, as well, I used uh, El Dorado in this one, which is supposed to give it a peachy, lemony, melony taste. So, really, it should be bursting with fruitiness, so to speak. Certainly is. And again, it's. 4.5%? 4.4% ABV. So you've got all that flavour, all that balance, all that kind of sweetness, and all that kind of dry hoppiness, but with a beer that you can session. It's very important to do that, isn't it? I think the best beers in the world, some people will say uh, 8 9% ABV, but can you drink that beer all day long? Really? I mean, no, I don't not drink it and stand it. Uh, exactly, I don't think so. But this, it's got all that flavour. I think what it's about is trying to get... We, we all know really that alcohol-less beer doesn't work. So, yeah. alcohol, obviously, it is de desirable not just for you know for the obvious but for the taste as well. Yeah. And I think it's a case of, of achieving a, a beer which is you know moderately alcoholic but is very tasty. That is a very tasty beer. I, I'm very impressed with this. We're pretty pleased with that, aren't we, John? Mm, we're famous here. Yeah. yeah, very pleased. Yeah, but when we brew the next one, then that will be John's favourite as well. <laughs> so, John. Um, just bringing you in. Thank you. Sorry, I've not spoken to you for a couple of minutes, but um, the, the progress, the, the, the kind of every time Steve makes a beer and he kind of brings it to you, you must be very happy. When he brings you a beer like this, you must be thinking, yeah, okay, let's go with this. Steve doesn't bring you a beer. Steve is bringing you um, yes, yes, we have a different beer every month, and uh, it's one of these uh, uh, recipes in the well, that, that, that's great. That's great to look at. That's great to look at. I'm going to drink as much of this as I can to move on to the next one. Something different for you now, then a dark beer. Okay. So this is their Bullring Port, and it's described as a rich, smooth, and velvety beer. It's 4.6% ABV, beer in the glass. Look at that. That looks great. Washing the beer around, it creates a nice kind of velvety head, nice carbonation. It's a deep, dark kind of beer with it. With a bleeding of a, of, of a, it's an almost a, a, a kind of a velvety red colour if you hold the beer up in the glass. Yeah. So um, aroma. What am I going to pick up in the aroma? Well, you should you should get the you know the, the typical aromas of a of a porter, which are the, the, the toffee and the yeah. coffee and the roasted. Yeah. And, yeah. You know barley that's uh, obviously predominant in a in a beer of this fashion. No, I do. No, he's trying to smell in that beer. Um, 
and Steve is describing exactly how that this can kind of be a taste or, or, or kind of smell. So let's dive in. Please enjoy. And the first thing I want to mention about this beer is, is it's full bodied. It's a full bodied beer. 4.6% ABV. The worst type of beer in the world for me personally is that kind of dry Irish style taste where you get the coffee, the chocolate, the caramel, and it's thin. There's no there's no body, there's no mouthfeel. But this beer you can see the body to the beer here. It is really, you can't really, you can't really describe unless you taste it how yeah. rich it is. It's, it's difficult to uh, it's got a lovely get that across. With a beer like this, you want to taste the coffee, the chocolate and the caramel. And by tasting it... It's got a medium mouthfeel, so you're going to wrap around the tongue. It wraps around the aroma, the kind of inside of the palate where you, you may not get all them kind of tastes, but you do with this beer because it kind of sticks. It's a sticking beer. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not meant to be refreshing, this beer, is it? No, no. It is, but it isn't. It's, well, it's sort of warm it's, winter evenings. Yeah, exactly. It's the cockles of your heart. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of log fire. Um, it's still pulling flavours now. I've been roasting chocolate, coffee, and caramel, and that's because the beer sticks in the mouth. Yeah, top beer. This is the Clyde Brewery. Thank you, John. Thank you, Steve. Have you got one final thought to say to the camera before we go? <laughs> we produce fantastic beers in Wales. The rest of the world will come and embrace them, please. Right. I'm going to come and brew with you guys. Yeah, please do. What are we going to brew? Let's do it live on camera. What are we going to brew? I'd like to brew, me personally, my favourite style of beer is a big American hobby style kind of double IPA. Is that, would that be possible with you guys? It, it is possible, yeah. 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 Would you be happy with that? If I come to you guys, brilliant. Okay, let's do it. Let's brew a double IPA with a kite brewery. Put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, and cheers.